postcards are expensive, Janine. I don't know if I have the budget. This has been one of the main conversations I have with agents, and I understand it. I really do. But in this video, I'm actually gonna break down why I personally am super profitable in sending postcards. And not only that, they're actually not as expensive as some of the mistakes that you're currently making. So let's dive on in. My name is Janine Sasso. I'm the owner and founder of the Hyper Local Agent, and I'm on a mission to help more agents get into geographic farming and live a life they absolutely love. So here's the thing. When I talk to agents, one of the biggest things I hear is that I don't have a budget to mail, right? And it's true. Postcards are not free to get out the door. Now, personally, I use geocentral.com, and while they print for free, I still have to cover the postage. But here is the thing. When I look at postcards, I look at them as a lead generation tool, for one. I also look at them to nurture my past clients, and I look at them to help build my listing inventory. Okay, so listing marketing, right? Now here's the other thing with it. When I am leveraging postcards, I am gaining back my time. That's right. Gaining back my time means that I can then spend it in other income generating activities or I could actually be with my family. So let's break it down of why I think agents are actually having it a little backwards as it relates to postcards. First up, when an agent gets started, they oftentimes start with open houses. That's where I got my start, open houses. So I've actually had four open houses in a weekend. I would do back to back on Saturday. I would do back to back on Sunday. So I've had four open houses in a weekend as I got started and I did what every other agents did. I picked up buyers, right? So now I had a buyer or two or three to work with, which was awesome. And they started sending me properties. They're like, hey, can we go see this house? Can we go see this property? Can we go see that property? And I'm like, yes, of course, of course, right? So what came out of this was not only that I was showing properties, I felt busy, right? I felt productive. I have actually was also spending gas money. That's right. So one of the things that I think a lot of agents forget is just because you're not necessarily investing, um, you know, a couple hundred dollars at once doesn't mean that it's free. Driving buyers around, meeting them at properties, and sometimes these properties, we're talking, you know, a lot of driving around. I mean, if you have buyers, you know what I'm talking about. Now, not only the gas money, but obviously then also, I'm a mom to two little kids. I had to figure out a sitter. So figuring out a sitter, well, they also don't come free. So now I have babysitting expenses, and then I have gas expenses. Now, why are agents thinking that this is actually the lesser evil? And it's just very, very simple. You are spending it at a lower scale gradually, right? You go to the gas station, and I went about twice a week roughly when I had buyers, right? Twice a week I would stop at the gas station, twice a week I would fill up, and with all of that, I then had two gas tanks, and you just think, what is your gas tank currently, right? And then I also had babysitting expenses. So let's assume on an average, I was spending between 100 to $150 a week for a buyer with no guarantee of a paycheck. No guarantee of a paycheck. So I had 100 to $150 a week out of there times four. I am now between four to $600 that I spent with zero guarantee of a paycheck. The question is, could you have gotten more business by focusing on listings? and by leveraging postcards. And that's the thought I wanna leave you with. If anything, do a time study, do a money study, and figure out what are you currently spending in terms of gas, in terms of you know help to get things um, situated at home so you can go on showings if you have a babysitter or if you have to bring your kids with, right? Because those are a couple things that we have to take into consideration. And then think about it, is it better to just maybe hit send once a month and supplement it with flyers and take a walk that you can bring your kids on with, right? Um, something that you don't have to really spend anything other than your time because walking in a neighborhood is a lot better than driving around in a 30 mile radius. 
So hopefully that was helpful. Maybe it's time to evaluate how we think about our budget in real estate. Remember, gradually spending money still means you're spending money. And if postcards are the answer, I want to talk to you because obviously postcards is how I built my business. I'm extremely profitable on them. For every dollar I put on postcards, I get about $10 back. So again, postcards are my jam. And I hope this was helpful for you to really start thinking about are postcards expensive or are they just simply a bigger expense once a month versus a gradual expense multiple times a week. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.